We all have attitudes, and our attitudes impact our perceptions, our view of other people. Our perception of somebody else impacts our emotions. Do they like me or do they not like me? See, this is the thing. Attitude is a habit of thought. It is how we look at the world, how we look at different people. Personality is our psyche. It's our makeup. It's the way we view life. It's our temperament. We all have all four parts of the brain, I hope. We do. Okay, but what you need to know is that there's one dominant part that is different in each of us. And we're all totally different. There's not two people in this room that are alike. Now, a lot of you have heard of Myers-Briggs. You've heard of maybe DISC, Dominant, Interactive, Steady, Competent. You've heard of Amiable, Expressive, Driver, Analytic. There's even one that has Otter and Seahorse and Lion and some other animal. Okay, what I use is something called Insight Learning, which is color-coded. Are you blue, orange, green, or gold? Okay, it's very easy to remember a face with a name. And it's just as easy to remember a face with a name with a color, like Bill Chestnut is blue. And Marilyn back there is orange, okay? You just don't forget it. How do you apply it? How do you apply personality styles when it comes to selling? How do you apply it when it comes to team building, working in a team? How do you apply it to understanding what your strengths are or what your non-strengths are? How do you apply it to an IT team or a customer service team? That's what I'm going to show you today. Two years ago, Michael Cox, who's with the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas, did a, did a little study. And he said this, the six most needed skills today in the United States, the number one most needed skill today, people skills and emotional intelligence. You do not learn that in school. You learn that in life. That is working with people. That is understanding that people are different. That people have different strengths. Do we leverage those strengths? That's what it's about. People skills and emotional intelligence. There's a big difference between playing to win and playing not to lose. Let me give you an example. Super Bowl 37 was the Oakland Raiders against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oakland was favored big time. 13 seconds left in the first half, and Oakland has the ball on their own 12-yard line. You figure they just run out the clock, go into the locker room, reconvene, figure out what they need to do to get back on track and win the Super Bowl. Instead, Tampa Bay calls timeout. With 13 seconds left, they're all the way in Oakland's territory. Why would they call timeout? They were playing to win. They figured one more play, they might get a fumble and get a quick score. Tampa Bay went on as underdogs to win the Super Bowl 48 to 21. That's playing to win. The most important thing we could do with our clients is understand their personality, understand what they value, how to motivate them, and how to communicate to them. Perception is based on attitude and behavior. Behavior is driven by our personality style. Thank you.